So big, big shout out to you, big fan. Put it by Cam with the Oh yeah, yeah. And I want to congratulate Cam for getting the Ghetto Oscar. He got the Source Award for Best Actor in a Movie. And I'm, and I'm, and no, no. I'm real happy. I'm, I'm hype about that. And speaking of Source Awards, we got a surprise. Um, why don't you bring your guest, your special guest, in, Choke? Yeah. Did you guys go to Source Awards? No. Let's give him a seat. Let's give him a seat. Special guest? Today. <laughs> yes, sir. We didn't know he was coming through, but Choke brought him up, and we don't mind because that's my man. Just a little bit of hip hop history here. <laughs> you know? Let him know. Let's let him know exactly who you are. Introduce yourself, you please, beat? my nigga. Yo, call Mega up in the building. All right. Call All right. All right. All right. Yeah. What's up, call Mega? What's going on? I'm chilling, chilling. Yeah, they said you won a Source Award. Yeah, independent album of the year. All right, that's mm-hmm. high. That's big, that's big. Yeah. So how'd you put that out? I mean, I'm coming up. from independent ties, so I always respect that. But, you know, let's, let's see the... Tell them the, the year 2000 version of it so people can stop asking me, because I don't know about it no more. But tell them exactly <laughs> how it goes down. And and exactly how you should do it. And take matters in your own hands. Uh, you know, let I us mean, know. Like, like, y'all set the prototype for, like, how dudes be putting out independent stuff. It's like, the industry, they really don't know how to... um deal with certain street music and certain people, you know, they could, de- you know how the, the politics, so you got, I just did it myself, rather, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Did yourself, put it out, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. So how's it going for you, is it all right? Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. All right, how do you go about putting it out, you know what I mean? Um, I got a distribution deal, I worked out a distribution deal with these people called Land Speed. All right, now that's, now that's the smart way to do it. All right. Yeah. That's the way we did it. Motherfuckers always ask for some shit, I'd be like, look, go do it yourself, because then you end up with more, you know what I'm saying? Trust me, you have the way with all the doors. So you got a distribution deal. You uh, I, I figured you made up, you made your own music, got a distribution, and promoted it yourself. Yeah, exactly. Right, so how does one go about getting a distribution deal these days? Well, the way I did it is um, I had a little buzz from being affiliated with Def Jam and the firm, etc. Right, right. So they stepped to me. Chris Lighty, I remember those days. Yeah, sucker ass Chris Lighty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rock radio. I mean, we yeah. rock radio. You can say whatever you want up here. Whatever. And I got some questions for you too on that on that note. All right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So basically, I, I put out my record out of desperation because I was on the shelf when I was on when I was on Violator, and like um, my artist longevity ain't promised. You could be hot today, and three years later you be like niggas don't even care no more. Shit, so three, three months later, three yeah, weeks later, you know what I'm look at Tone Hooker. Tone <laughs> 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 was hot. Tone was hot for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> That's right, Tom. Don't take out of my face. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry to cut you off. I just didn't help you. Gang, gang, gang. Live. So, so what you're saying? <laughs> no, so I just put it out out of desperation because I didn't want my fan base to abandon me, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But everything worked out for me. So there are dis- there's a lot of dis- independent distribution companies. You come with the music already done that just put in the stores for you. And exactly what is distribution? Because a lot of people don't know that, too. Distribution is basically... Like when they put your stuff in the stores for you, or when they um when they market it to, to markets that you're not able to reach when you're going hand in hand. Like I, you can sell it out your trunk, but you can't sell it in Idaho out your trunk. You know what I'm saying? So rather right. than just sell it um in the tri-state area, these dudes enable me to sell records like California, England, like all across the world and stuff. All right, all right. No digging, no digging. So um, I guess my question then is, oh, do you um do they put it in the major stores? Yeah, yeah, I was in Best Buys and Wiz and all of that. You know, there's no more co-ops now. I don't know if it's, if that goes for all... Um, I think it's just universal. Nah, I think everyone's coming around with that, too. Mm-hmm. They just cut, there's no more co-op? They, well, for us, they just... Universal, Doug Morris just cut the prices to $10. Mm-hmm. It's, it's really actually it's a co-op. fucked up trick, Doug right? Morris, because man. it's co-op. Doug what does that mean for people that... Well, what a co-op is, is what people don't know is when you have to put your records in the store, or at least right. in a major change, yeah. you got to pay them. You got to actually get the money for position. Well, it's like releases. Store. Yeah, like they won't put your shit... It's like extortion to me, okay. you know what I'm saying? So you got to give... Like when you brought, roll out an album, for example, we got to set aside a couple of hundred grand just to get a store so that they'll put our records up front, okay. which is why sometimes only the real heavy, heavy hitters come out in the last quarter. Yeah, or in the last quarter, all of, because that's when it's the most expensive, they raise okay. the prices. So, and, but that's considered a marketing cost. Now, marketing costs are not recoupable to artists. They're recoupable to the, to the label. Right. So what a recoupable cost means once they give you the money, you got to give it back. You know what I'm saying? Like the production of an album is a recoupable cost to, a, to an artist. Right. So now, they, what they did was they said, now everything's $10, but we ain't paying no co-op, so you can sell it cheaper. You understand what I'm saying? So now it's $10 instead of 16 to $18. You don't pay no co-ops, but 
the um, artist uh, royalty is lower because instead of selling it for 16, you sell it for 10. So now it comes out of their artist pocket because mm. it's a recoupable cost. So, so now you, you don't put a, a marketing cost and it's not a recoupable. It's kind of fucked up. And then it also fucks up for the uh, mom and pops because the mom and pops weren't doing co-ops anyway. Those are the ones that was looking out. They can't really compete. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how they was getting their money. So they was probably buying it at $10 and selling it at $12, 13 right. So what you're saying, then, the artists who sell the most records come out fourth quarter because they could afford it, their marketing yeah, cost? Yeah, because they raised the price. Like, like if I were to put out a new artist, All right. I, would, I, I wouldn't. I couldn't put him for a quarter because in his marketing budget, Benny ain't sell nothing unless I really believed in him. But that usually doesn't happen because okay. they'll be like they they double the prices because that's when people do most yeah. of the shopping. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's a lot of little ways motherfuckers get money that niggas don't know. Cut, so you gotta Damn. cut the cost now. They gotta now. That's why for us, like I'm like, yo, we gotta <laughs> cut the cost of all this shit because before I could sell something for sixteen, fifteen dollars, now I can only sell it for ten. And they still want to rebate it, which means, mm. you know, they still want to, to, to uh, give a sale. Man. And if you let's say you want to sell it cheaper, you gotta pay for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, let's say, like, you know how you go in a store and it's a sale? Right. That's why sometimes I'd be like, certain niggas be, be, be cheating and shit, because they rebate their shit. That's just like buying records to me. You know what I'm saying? Because you're cutting a check to rebate them. You might cut a mm. million dollars and make your shit be off $2. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You so, sell more records. So that's why so, we're going out of town to the UK. That's why I went to the yeah, I'm going out of town. <laughs> Take so basically, world. I can't fuck with it. <laughs> Have you explored the European market yet? The UK and all that? Yeah, yeah. I went, cause I went out there, and you know, I'm making waves out there, cause I be fucking with Victoria Beckham and shit on the music level, and she did fashion and shit. She's like the Princess Die out there, and it's a big thing, cause she's fucking with hip hop. But being that they're looking, I'll be over there on Monday. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna try to get the money over there. That's right. So now there's a lot of questions. You used to be down with Nas. You, you want to talk about that? No, yeah, you don't yeah. have to though. You know, it's all good. Yeah, I don't wanna... yeah. So I know a lot of questions about that. Now you used to be down with Nas and shit. What happened with that? And I, like I said, I, you know, fuck the beef with Jay and all shit. I really am a. No, nah, it was that like done, but should, it was it was like it was all politics. Like when I, I know now me and Nas grew up together from the block. Yeah. So when I came over from jail, Nas, me and Nas was dealing with each other. Now let me ask you a question: Was the One Love that was you? Yeah. Was right. See yeah. now, y'all yeah, remember One Love? Now when Nas, mm. that was his hottest album. I go front. That shit was classic. That was a classic. I'm not gonna. I'm not can't front on Nas on that one. But the one that One Love was that actually was my favorite song. That was the one hot album. That was the ten year classic. That was the, that was my favorite joint. And so you the person he was talking to One Love. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's fun to get. Yeah, right. so when I came home, it was all it was it was love, like son. Son didn't really have no paper and, and all of that, and I'm the type of dude like I will deal with you on certain on certain principles and bases. Like I dealt with him from the heart. I ain't deal with him for money, but I know Nas ain't a businessman. Like I like know that too. like you know what I'm saying? Like like y'all like you and Jay like y'all messed up the game for a lot of dudes because y'all made certain dudes think. That they could do what y'all do, but they can't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Nas never was really business orientated. He's just an artist. Like he's very, he's in a, he's a, he's an excellent artist. So make a long story short, when I came home from jail, some paper wasn't right, and I seen certain moves that he was doing. Like one day we had to drive through a toll, and Sonny had no bread for the toll. Oh but, my God! Oh, what? what? That when we was in the battle. Oh wow! <laughs> 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 yo, 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 if you don't got no money to pay a toll, like you one of the top That's artists it. out. But I just seen you spend all your bread on weed. Stop playing, so I can't now. Nah, so it's no, nah, nah, shit. It, not to go there, but I'll say that to say this. I'll say that to say this. Some wanted me to sign. I say that to say this. Some wanted me to sign a production deal. Nah, Easy Pass wasn't even out at the time. This is '96. So, so when I went through that, I was like, yo, how I'm a, like how I'm gonna sign a production deal with this dude? Like, put my like, this is my finances, my career, right. and this dude hand. Right. So I was like, I can't sign a production deal with son, but I said, I'll give you a finder's fee, because right. Def Jam wanted to sign me in this label now. Right, right. So so um, son was like, no, 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 you don't got to do all that. So now Steve Stout wanted me to sign a production deal with him. You got to watch that cat. So, you got to watch that cat. I mean, at the time, it would have been a good idea for me, but I ain't, understand the, I ain't understand the mechanics of the industry, and he ain't understand the mechanics of the street. Because right. he kept doing certain things. That was a violation. I, I totally understand what you're saying. And then, don't you know. Don't you take that shit? Niggas get in the music yeah, business. And they, like don't, it, they don't carry you like a man. They think because yeah, they're used yeah, to dealing with yeah, snaky people. And they don't yeah. treat people thoroughly. And then they don't understand the repercussions of that. Because exactly. Because you try to maintain a, a, legal, a legal perspective of life. Exactly. And you want to be. And then they take advantage of that or just don't even understand it. Exactly. I like, got you on that one. Like Foxy Brown. We was working on our album. I had a song on Foxy Brown album. It All of a sudden, the, the, um, the song got erased mysteriously. Oh. There was a photo shoot for the whole firm. Steve Stout called me, told me to come to the photo shoot. I go uptown, go to see Lenny, get my shit diced up. They say, you know, um, he called me like, yo, the photo shoot is canceled. So now, 
AZ manager deal, like, I see, I run into deal, he like, yo, why you ain't at Tribeca? Because they doing a photo shoot. Oh, so I'm like, so that's two strikes. Now oh, we go to, um, Jesus. we go to some big rap concert, <laughs> MTV was there. This the shit that got me hot in the industry when they blackballed me, when everybody stopped. So Steve Stout did something. He gave me some seats in Arkansas. Meanwhile, other dudes in the projects got dudes in the projects got floor seats. Mm. And I'm down with the firm and my seats is all the way at the top. Damn. So when we got in there, that's when he got punched in the face, oh, you know. Yeah. And that's when everybody was like, yeah. You punched Steve Stout in the face? Nah, he could go to the all that. Yeah. I don't think nobody would blackball you for that. They probably give you a high five. Nah, mm -hmm. Steve Stout is cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he got that's when that infamous punch happened, and then, you know, he was oh, like, shit. yo, it's over for Mega, this and that, this and that, this and that. So Mm. That's that's how me and Nas' relationship fell apart. Okay. Oh, he was stepping up for um Steve Stout. Or just yeah, he told. Damn. Yeah, when we came back to the hood. Um, after that, me and Nas spoke, and he was like, "Yo, St Steve Stout took my career to another level. I love him. He's like, I'll die for the nigga, son." So when he told me that, that shit hurt me to my heart, cause you my man. Yeah. And meanwhile, niggas, niggas, niggas from the hood, that street is standing there with me. So, like when he said that, niggas was ready to get at Nas, and I was, and I, and I gave niggas like the gesture, like, "Nah, let the nigga." You know what I'm saying? Don't do nothing. But ever since then, our relationship just fell apart. And then, um, like, Nas the type of dude, like, you can't be cool with Nas and be cool with a nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if Nas is cool with you, he don't want you to be cool with Mega. So, I was in Nori video. He got so mad at Nori. So, was he mad at, at, at Steve for being friends with Jake when they was battling? I don't Jake? know, because by the time that happened, I wasn't dealing with Nas no more. Like, I didn't even care. But he probably was. Well, nonetheless. <laughs> We all from the same place. Hopefully one day we could all work everything out. We ain't gotta make records together, but everyone will hopefully learn and learn from their mistakes and right. you know everybody will work shit out. You know what I mean? Yeah. So big shout out to Nas, Steve Styles, and Paul Mega, Jay, and everybody else. Yeah. All right. And thanks for keeping yeah. hip hop interesting. I would have to say. You know Hope we got saying? an easy yeah. pass by now. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully <laughs> 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 you can pay his tolls. Hope you know so. what I mean? That shit is ridiculous, man. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. Come on, man. The I mean, fuck? you know, he probably having a rough time. I always had told him. I don't fucking know, but I always had told him. Huh? Somebody about seven had told him. He just said he spent all his money. I don't know. He spent all his money on weed. Son is a good artist. He just got issues with himself. Like now, he's got low self-esteem. Like, like that's like Jordan being worried about John Starks. You know what I'm saying? Like when Nas was the dude. He was worried about this rap and worried about this rap. I know that for myself. He got mad at me when I took my shirt off at a concert, you know what I'm saying, and jumped in the crowd. You're the number one artist in the country and you worried about me. I'm like under you. Like, you know what I'm saying? You thought you outshined him? I don't know. I didn't outshine him. Like, you Nas. At the end of the day, you like, I'm still, like, like the reason I don't battle Nas no more, because for one, he's on it and I'm just getting on. You know what I'm saying? So right. he's already accomplished. I'm trying to accomplish myself. So right. you're already, you're, you're, like, no matter what you say about Nas, what I say about Nas, Nas' place in greatness, greatness is solidified. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, so I tend not to want to chase that because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm playing myself. And plus, for two, when the beef was going on, the dude, certain things you just don't say to the street, dude, like, suck my, you know what? Oh, my God. Oh, so, yeah, that was the God. So the yeah, battle. That was my that's, so, that's, that's, that's the one that made my man lose it. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's the one that made my man lose it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, ain't no more battle now. Now, son, know what it is. I ain't seen Nas since 2000, so Damn. that's what's up. So it's better for you. Yeah, exactly. It's better for you. It's better for you. So what's the, what's you got in the future? What's your plan now? Right now, um, I just I so I knocked out that album, The True Meaning. Which I, actually I saw the video, choke shot the video, right? Yeah, yeah choke shot the video. Oh, I get it now. Okay, I was wondering. <laughs> okay, I, was wondering. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Yeah, choke, choke. choke, choke I let no choke, choke shine. Choke, choke is doing no his thing. Choke, choke, choke. 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 Yeah. I took, choke, I took choke around the world and shit. You know what I mean? I mean yeah, I heard. I heard you kidnapped him. Yeah, you know, pause. You know what I mean? That's why you got to do rag all tight. Like, 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 like put a couple of waters do rag. Like put a couple waters do rag. You looking like an African dancer right now. He's <laughs> great about the pop boys do rag. So <laughs> 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 yeah, good dude. Yeah. 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 All right, Brucey, be standing by. All right, standing thanks for coming by. through. We appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good luck. And, uh, uh, could I say that he's the first artist that came through? Right now. Nah, Victoria Beckham came through. Well, far as rap artists. Yeah. All right, that's yeah. love. That's yeah. love. Yeah. All right, yeah. 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 We'll go for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go. We'll go work with that. Okay. You know everybody yeah. ain't no big no song. Nah, I just met him today. It's, it's all, all good. good. It's, it's all, all good. good. Yeah. My cousin, baby, baby. All right, what's up? <laughs> baby, baby. Bruce, baby. Yeah, 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 Bruce
I don't know. I, I'll give no, you that no, no, no. answer when we come back. All right. My bad, Bushy. Didn't mean to intervene. The lens. <laughs> didn't mean to intervene. Rock radio. Holla back. Rock radio. Dame Dash. My man, call Mega. Holla back. Yeah. We yeah. done really solid the lens with the sex, with the sex talk. Yeah, we we, we, we <laughs> really don't like sex like, talk. Sex sex talk. Sex talk. Yeah. I gotta bring me a horror might work for you. Yeah, Joe, we should bring a straight hook up. The doctor yeah. might work That's for you. That's my house, nigga. You bum ass nigga. You bum ass nigga. I wish you was shit because the phone was dirty on the back. Yeah, bitch.